Hi everyone, in this video we'll discuss services and integrations. So we'll show you how you can add your services within your Zengi TV team, add alert sources or incoming integrations and configure the outgoing integrations which are the two-way communication channels sending data to external applications outside Zengi TV. Let's quickly revisit the structure inside a team with services in mind now. We have an applications team over here with two services inside, enterprise support and server monitoring. The enterprise support service has the Jira incoming and Slack outgoing integrations, implying that any tickets created inside the associated Jira account will create incidents inside ZenDuty, and any incidents created in ZenDuty will trigger the Slack outgoing integration, sending all incidents to a chosen Slack channel. The server monitoring team has the Grafana and Pulsatic integration as the alert sources and a two-way Jira connection via the Marketplace application. Let's now see all of this in action. So services are created inside a particular Zenity team. So let's go to the applications team over here and add its first service. Let's make the server monitoring service that we talked about earlier. Let's add up the integrations that we discussed, so Grafana, Pulsetic, and the Jira Marketplace connection. Let's choose the default escalation policy as a P0 escalation policy. And let's leave everything else untouched. These are concepts that we'll discuss later and let's save. And there you go, your server monitoring service has been created. The few integrations that we listed have already been created. And if we want to configure them, we can click on them and see a few instructions underneath. So let's quickly set up the Grafana V8 integration. So here we'll just copy the web hook URL and go to a Grafana instance now. We we'll click on the menu and under alerts, we'll go to contact points. This is where you pretty much define uh, where notifications can be sent. So we'll add a Zenduty webhook connection. So we click on add contact point, give it a name, maybe Zenduty, and add a webhook integration, and just paste the URL that we previously just copied, and click on save. That's it. And now we'll go to notification policies. Uh, this is where we're pretty much deciding how alerts are gonna be routed to which contact points. So we click on new nested policy, add any labels and values that you like, and choose the Zen Duty contact point now and click on save. And that's pretty much it. That's how you configure the Grafana integration. And a similar logic applies to most of our incoming integrations. And let's explore that in detail with the Pulsetic integration that we talked about earlier. So Pulsetic is a website uptime monitoring service designed to keep you informed about any disruptions to your website. You can monitor your website status and performance from different data centers around the world and also create status pages to keep your customers updated. Zenity integrates with over 150 such tools like Pulsetic and Grafana. And let's now see how Zenity incidents are created from the alerts that these tools send. So to integrate Zenity with Pulsetic, we'll follow a similar route and copy this webhook URL over here. We'll open up our Pulsetic instance and you can see that we're already monitoring a URL which is zenity.com. Click on these triple dots and go to the advanced settings. And under alerts, we'll set up a webhook URL. Just paste the link that you copied and click on save. And that's it, your integration has already been set up. Now let's see what happens once we send an offline request to Zenduty via Pulsetic. This would imitate the alert that you would usually get if your chosen URL was down. And if you go to Zenduty, and you'll see that an incident has already been created inside your server monitoring service assigned to Kevin Malone, who is on call for the application stream right now. Inside the alerts that you'll receive, you've received one single critical alert with all the information that you need. So I've acknowledged this incident now to prevent any further escalations and if we go to Pulsetic and send us an online request, let's see what happens then. You can refresh this page and if you see, your incident has already been resolved. You received one resolved alert from Pulsetic telling you that your monitor is now online which automatically resolves this incident. Let's now talk about outgoing integrations. So outgoing integrations are those which send data outside Zenuity and facilitate a two-way communication between the integration and Zenduty. These integrations are typically communication channels like Slack and Teams, conference widgets like Zoom, status pages, and issue trackers like Jira. Let's explore this further with the example of the Jira Marketplace integration. The Jira Marketplace connection enables you to integrate your Jira instance with Zenduty on an account level and map your Zenduty service with Jira projects, allowing you to create incidents in Zenduty for Jira issues and vice versa, create Jira issues for Zenuity incidents with synchronized statuses and notes. To begin, go to your Jira instance with the necessary permissions to install apps from the marketplace. Click on apps and then explore more apps. This brings you to the marketplace. Search for Zenduty over here. Click on the product listing. 
and click on get app. You'll soon be presented with a page with information about how to install Brain Beauty further. Click on configure and there you are. Just copy this token right over here. Now come back to Zen Beauty. Under account, go to connections, add new key, and just paste the key that you just copied. Your Jira account is not connected with the Zen Beauty account and you can configure this further under services. So we'll go to a service and click on an integration, you select a tenant, select your project, select an issue type, and now you'll map what statuses between Jira and Zen Duty mean to each other. So for trigger, for example, I'd want to mark it as to do. For acknowledged, I'd want it progressed. And for result, I'd like to mark it done. And just vice versa. And that's it. You can also select to sync Jira comments and Zen Duty notes. And I'll put that on. You have some further advanced settings over here to enable custom field mapping. But to learn more about that, check out our documentation. And now you can just click on save. And that's it. Now let's see what happens once I click on the test issue creation button over here. If I go back to my incidents, I have a new incident by Jira created. And if I go back to my Jira board, there is a new issue created by Zen Duty. Details will be synchronized across Jira and Zen Duty, and this is what outgoing integrations look like. We have many such outgoing integrations like Slack and Teams, allowing you to harness the incident command system straight from your incident channels, status page allowing you to communicate with your customers whenever there is a serious incident going on, and other integrations like Zoom, Zendesk, and GitHub, and even Dynamics. And that was all about services and integrations. Check out some useful links in the description referring to some of the documentation pages for the concepts that we refer to, and in our next video, we'll discuss setting up on-call schedules and escalation policies.